yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to learn about the card and how we can create a card with the flutter as well as the swift ui and the jetpack compose so let us get started over here and i'll go to my flutter project first of all and i'll go to my widget or let's create a screen so i'll create a new file over here and let's call this one something like a card view or the card view as your screen right so that should be fine and the dot file and let's create a stateless i guess we are not going to use any state over here and for that i'll just say a card view as your screen and let's import our uh, package over here that will be of a material and from here let's return the uh, scaffold and let's add the app bar too so let's just add the app bar over here and then we have to return a body from here so the body what we'll do is we'll just return a card from here and with this card we have an option to return a child and in the child what we'll return is the row so we can have a row over here and row has a children over here so let me close all of this properly and let's look into some of the properties that we can define over here so here we can define like a color so let's go and define the uh, color for this particular card so uh colors dot i will just give an indico or any other color that you prefer and then we can also have some option like uh, elevation of let's say uh, eight and also we can set uh, a shadow color so that will be of a uh, colors dot let's say a uh, green with the shadow color and then we can also define some custom shape over here so let's say a uh, round rectangle uh round rectangle border i guess so let's keep a round rectangle border and with this we can give some uh, border radius for this one so uh border uh, already uh, border radius that the circular i guess let's give a circular of a uh, uh, radius of uh, 16 so that should be fine and um uh, other than that what we can do is let's go to our row and let's add some information over here and uh, with this i guess i can add a, a image over here so why not we copy our previous image that we have defined somewhere here so let's gra grab the image that we have over here so that will be of the circular image that we have over here let's grab that one and just go over here and just paste it over here the circular image that we have previously created right so uh, let me close this one properly or let me give a proper intent over here and uh, here we go so we caught that image over here and i guess we can also give some uh, like the uh, padding for this one so let me keep a uh, wrap with the padding and that should be fine and here i will define a padding so i'll just say a const over here so that should be fine for now or i guess i'll define a const over here and i can remove it from here right and from here too so that should be fine and uh, what we can do is uh, for now let's try to run and see how it look like first of all and then we'll try to modify some of the other stuff and here you can see we got that particular image so i guess you can change this one to a white color and that may look a better so it's look better over here and you can also add some more configuration over here like if i go out of this padding and if i want to add a column uh, c o l c o l u m n column right and inside this column let us add a children over here and uh, with this let's add our cannot be a const over here that should be fine and i'll define it over the const over here and with this children what i can add is i can add some text over here 
and with this text i will define uh, let's say um let's say this one is of a title and then we can also have one more which will be of a subtitle and let's call this one as a subtitle and the title and also we can define the uh, cell over here if you need so uh, let's go and grab and add the style over here and i will use a uh, rthe theme dot of context from here and uh, then i'll use the um, dot the uh, text theme that we have right so i can get the text theme dot uh, i'll use a headline of the five and then a copy with uh, copy with and i'll use a, a color over here and override the color with the uh, colors dot the uh, white over here so i guess that should be fine and uh, let's grab this information from here and let's put it for this one over here too and that should be fine and it should check for the null operator over here and then we have that and for this one instead of the five let's give something like uh not the heading so i guess there is a subtitle okay so let's try to refresh and you can see that it's look pretty bad over here so let's try to arrange this one properly what we can do i guess it's based on the column so column has the one more property which is of the uh, main exercise so i guess i can use the main exercise over here and the main exercise that i can give a mean and let's try to restart okay so it's look better now so we got that one and it's pretty good over here so some more properties you can define over here that will be of the uh, main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment so i guess i can also change the uh, cross axis alignment to the uh, start over there and let's try to refresh it now it get lengthened over here properly so that's all for this on the flatter side let's move on to our swift ui project as well as the jetpack compose so let me open my uh, Swift UI project over here. And in our Swift UI project, let's go and create a new file. So let me select a new file from here. And I'll select the Swift UI, just click on next. And let's give a name for this one as a, a card view. Okay, so that should be fine, I guess. And once we have that, let's remove this one and I'll use a jet stack over here. And we have learned about the jet stack previously. So inside this, let's add our um, a rectangle, I guess, right? So first we have to start with the, uh, let's create a round rectangle and round rectangle and with the uh, uh, circular radius or the corner radius of a 16. And also I can give a style or something over here with the uh, circular or the continuous okay so you can define it this one and after that for this one I, i'll just go and fill the color with the uh, dot of the let's say a color of indigo i guess there is a indigo color that's what we have used on the flatter side and the uh, frame and uh, here i will just give a frame of the uh, uh let's give a width first of all that will be of a uh, dot the infinite because we want to cover whole the screen size and then we have the height of let's say a uh, 200 i guess that should be fine and, and then i can also have a shadow a shadow color that's what we have given in the uh, our let's give a shadow color of the uh, 16 and then we can also have the uh, color over here and the color let's give it as a a uh, green color i guess that's what we have given in our uh, okay so we got some and there it says that color argument is not found so i may have a uh, misplaced this one so maybe it's on the front and once we have that so now we got a nice looking uh the rectangle box or the, the card and we have a set of color of the green so that's look pretty cool right 
and uh, what we want to do over here is after that we want to have a edge stack over here and in this horizontal stack we want to press uh, image over here so let's grab the image i guess uh, we have the image already over here so let's grab that image from here instead of writing it again and put it over here and just change this uh, particular color to be something a different color over here and uh, i guess that should be fine for now so let's try to uh, put in the text over here so uh after this uh stack let's go and add the uh let's add the another one i guess we need a, a v stack over here right so we need to add in the text over there and the text will be of our uh, text and uh, let's say uh title first of all and uh, then we will also have uh, another text over here that will be of the uh, subtitle uh, sub title over here and then i just need to change the uh, foreground color over here and that the color um, foreground color should be of the uh, let's say uh, colors dot the uh, white color dot the white i guess and uh, that should be i guess it'd be fine if i change this one to the color dot the okay so i guess that's going to rebuild it okay so we got that one and other than that i guess i can also add some information let's go down and let's set the uh, padding over here and let's keep a padding of uh, it and uh, then after that let's also add a spacer to move this one to this uh the left hand side over here so i guess the spse uh, spacer over here that should move that view to the left hand side okay so we got that and i guess i can add a padding to this z stack over here dot the uh, padding and let's give a padding alpha 16 okay so that's look uh, pretty bad over there so i guess i can have it over here and also i guess i need to give that uh, padding over here to the image too so i can have some uh, padding over there and i can have this one to the uh, white color over here so let's change that one to over there and now you can see it looks pretty good and just we need to arrange this one over here and for that i guess in the v stack i have the alignment option so uh alignment uh, alignment and that should be i will give us a leading over here and i can remove this content section and that should be okay so it's look pretty same as that what we have created with the our uh, flutter over here right so it's look pretty cool so let's try to uh, continue with our compost or the jetpack compost and let me open the jetpack compost project over here and in our compost project over here let's create a composable over here and uh, let's have a function of uh, let's say a card view or something like a card view okay so that should be fine i guess and uh, then inside this uh let's create uh let's uh let me rename this one so card view or the i'll just say uh profile card view over here and it, with this let's go and create uh add the card over here and with this card i can add some of the uh modifier first of all so let's add the modifier over here and the modifier let's first thing that we want to do is the shape that it has and shape i want to give a, a rounded uh corner shape right so rounded corner shape and that will give us a rounded corner and i'll just give it a 16 dot the dp for this one and then also i can add in the uh, background color so i have to add a background color so that will be of the uh colors and a color i guess the color dot we don't have that indigo looking color over here 
so what i can do is i'll just go back to my flutter project and i can copy that color code from here just go to over here and this is the primary indigo color so i can just get that particular code over here and let's go back and paste it over here and that should be fine so we got that particular color and once we have that let's also add the uh e l e l e uh elevation right e l e uh v a t i one elevation okay so i guess uh i made an e l e elevation and uh, that will be of uh, we get the something like a 8 or the uh, 16 dot ddp oh that's too much 800 so it should be of a 16 and uh, then we can also uh, add the uh, modifier over here and the modifier dot and let's add the modifier dot i guess i can add a padding over here first of all so let's say uh, 8 dot ddp over here and we can also add some more information like uh, uh let's give uh the width so fill uh, max width so let's fill in the max width and uh, then i can also assign the height so dot the height we need and let's give a 200 of the height and i need to define a dp over here and uh, then i can also add the uh, dot the shadow and here in the shadow i can define the uh, shadow of other 16 dot the dp the size and then i have a shape and the shape let's uh, define the shape for this one as a round rectangle uh, shape right so that should be of a same as our previous one whatever shape we have defined so this is for the shadow and uh, i guess we can just go and provide this one in the preview so we know what we are actually doing over there otherwise we are doing so blindly so we don't know what it's going to look like so let me go and split up the ui over here and let's try to build that over there and uh, we will just go on to the top over here and uh, then once we have okay so that's not the one we are looking for i need to have this one over there so i guess so let's remove that one and just put in that one over here and i guess that should not be the issue we have replaced it over here so let's see how it looks like and uh, then i can once we have this card with this card i can go inside and create a row because we need to provide the information for our row so let's go and remove this one and in the row what we need to add is we need to add the image so i guess we already have some image over here so let's go to our previously created image so let's grab this one from here and uh, let's go on to the uh, top over here and let's add that image over here modify in the color i'll just change it to a uh, white over here let's add uh, a white color over here and let's refresh that particular build over there and let's define now once we have that let's define the uh, vertical alignment over here that should be of a alig alignment i will just say a center vertically and uh, once we have that image i'll just go and create a c-o-l-u-m and column inside it right and with this column okay so what i did over here is not correct c-o-l-u-m and column so a uh, column and with this column i can define a text over here and actually uh, let's say a uh, title and then we have another text uh, of the uh, one is of the subtitle right so sub subtitle and let's try to refresh this one and uh, here we just need to define the text style so let me grab the style for this one so here i'll just give a sty style over here and i'll just say matr material uh, material theme dot the uh, topology they have the topography over here and then i can have the h5 
five or something for this one and uh, i guess that should be fine and also let's go and give that style to our subtitle over here so let me give a subtitle for this one and it should have a subtitle one over here and we can give some i guess a color over here so you a color which is of C O L O R color, which is of equals to the C O L O R color dot D white, and I'm not sure why it is coming there. W H I T white, and let's have that one, and let's keep that the same color over here, and I guess I can also add a, a modifier over here, so that should be of a. A modifier dot uh, let's give a padding of the uh, I guess I can give around it dot ttp and let's try to refresh this build and when you run on the device it's look uh, pretty cool but the color over here doesn't change so I guess we haven't defined the color on our shadow so let's go and add the uh, there is a color for the uh, uh, AMB yeah. Uh, embed color let's say color uh, dot the uh, green uh, sorry not the colors dot the color dot the green over here and also we have a spot color over here which is of equal to the uh, color color dot the green and let's give a little bit of padding to this particular image so modifier and dot i'll give a padding for all of this off to the eight dot ddp so i guess that should be fine let's try to run it on the device and let's see how it look like and when you run in the device let's open up our device and you can see we get a nice looking uh, shadow color over here but the padding is still haven't changed so i guess i can uh cut this padding and move into the top over here because the uh sequence of this particular modifier matters so sometimes you have to arrange it properly otherwise it will not uh, have a proper effect so let's try to run it one more time and let's see how it look like and finally you can see we got a nice looking view over here which is a card view and then we have a shadow color and rest of the thing look quite similar with what we have designed with the flutter and the surf ui so that's all for this lesson and we'll meet up in the next one till then have a great day